Hi everyone, today's video will go over immune thrombocytopenia purpura, also known as ITP. For some key background information, ITP is an autoimmune condition characterized by a reduction in the platelet count. It is an isolated thrombocytopenia, so there is only a reduction in platelet count seen without any other abnormalities. It is typically presenting in young children, but it can occur at any age. And indeed, in adults, women are more commonly affected than men. Lastly, it is important to know that it is often precipitated by a recent infection. But what does the condition actually look like? Typically, you have viral infection that occurs prior to the onset of symptoms, usually one to two weeks. And your typical features include petechiae, purpura, some superficial bleeding, as well as nosebleeds. Additionally, you would not see lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly, or widespread systemic features. It would just be those um, petechiae and some nosebleeds for the most part. In terms of the investigations, your full black count would show you a normal white cell count and normal uh, hemoglobin or red blood cell count, and you would have isolated thrombocytopenia. Your clotting screen is one of the key investigations and would be normal, so your PT and APTT would be normal. You could also do a peripheral blood smear, which would show you a normal cell lineage with isolated thrombocytopenia. And you could also perform level function tests. Those are important to differentiate from other possible causes of thrombocytopenia, such as liver cirrhosis in alcoholics, and it tends to be more relevant in adult patients presenting with similar features. You can also perform other tests such as thyroid function tests, screening for infections such as HIV and hepatitis, as well as a bone marrow test if there are any doubts about the possible under di underlying diagnosis or the possible cause. With regards to management, you would not give any active medications for the ITP but supportive management in children who present with ITP but currently have no active bleeding. You would give oral prednisolone especially in adults, even if they are not bleeding, which is the difference between children and adults who have ITP and are not bleeding. And you can also give IV immunoglobulin, and that is if there's critical side bleeding present, as it acts quicker than prednisolone. That was a quick video going through ITP. I hope it helps you understand the condition a bit better. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be making videos on TTP and DIC as well, so look out for those as well. But for now, that is all. Thank you so much for watching.